Hi everybody, welcome back to Tinkercad part 2. Um, this time we're going to have a go at making a kind of a name tag and there's a few different ways of making name tags, a bit like this one here that I made for my son George. Um, or you can make something a little bit like this one. So we're going to start with this one, I've already made it. Um, you guys would just go to create, you guys would just go to create new design over here. Um, but I'm going to show you around this one here. So if I want to load up a piece of work I've already done, I can just click on it and click on Tinker This. It means it's you're going to, it's going to let you edit that file. Uh, sometimes they take a little minute to um, load up. Depends how fast your computer is. Um, so we're going to have a go at making something a bit like this today. Um, it's like obviously it's a name tag, or it could be all sorts of things, but it's just the concept um, that we're going to be looking at. So I'm just going to move um, this out of the way and let's have a little go at making something of our own. So I'm going to start by just using the red the red box. I'm going to use the white spaces, the little, little white squares on the corners to shape like a little plaque, something for it to stand on. Because remember if you've got lettering, all right, if I've got lettering like this without anything holding it together, if it was to be printed, all of those letters would all fall apart. Okay, So yeah, you have to stand it on something. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to flatten this down. Kind of normally three mils is, is pretty good. So that's three there. If, if you want to um, speed that up for yourself, you can just literally click on it, press three, press enter. I want my plaque to be exactly 80 wide, so 80 millimeters, which is eight centimeters. I want it to be 80 wide, so I'm going to type that in. And I want my plaque to be um, 35 millimeters long. So there we go. So there's my plaque done again right click will help you revolve slash turn around your model so you can see it from different angles and that's going to be important in a few minutes so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press text okay there it is uh, it fits on my plaque nicely at the moment right but I don't want to make a plaque that says text so I'm going to click up here um, and change what it says if you don't have that then all you need to do is get the options by clicking on the little black arrow just over there um, so I'm going to change this to say um, nope, excuse me, I'm going to try that again. I'm going to get it to say smile. Smile. And actually I'm going to change colour just so we can kind of see it more easily on my model. Um, obviously it's going to be too big to fit on my plaque so I need to skinny that down a little bit. All right. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it really, really tall like this. Okay. I'm then going to use these little angle um, sort of indicators here. So if I use this one it revol it turns my model in this way. If I turn my if I use that one it turns my model in this axis. Okay, and if I grab this one just here, it's going to turn my model in this axis. So depending on how you want to turn your model, okay, you can use those. So I'm going to do it like this for now. Okay. And I'm actually going to turn Turn that a bit less, something a bit more like that. And then I'm at the moment I've got lots of writing sticking out the bottom, and I actually don't think that's going to print properly because it's got all this sort of funny gap at the back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that, shrink it down, and obviously I need to make sure that all of my model is going to be on that plaque. You can have bits hovering slightly, but that's then going to make things a little bit trickier for you. So I'm just going to pull it all inside. So I shouldn't have any of my models sticking out the outside of my um, sort of plaque bit there. I'm actually going to just check that I've got that in the center. Yep, it's not bad. But OK, what am I going to do with all this bit here? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box, a hollow box. Remember, a thin air box. And I'm going to make it quite big, so bigger than I need it to be. OK, and I'm now going to shrink it down. Sorry, reduce it down, lower it below my build plane, my work plane. OK, I'm going to... Go, use that little black cone there just to lower it down, turn my model around, make it even bigger. So now when I use that, when I combine my thin airspace with my blue lettering with my red plaque, that should, this, this bit here, um, the blue and the red bit will combine to be one piece of plastic and then to stop all this funny bit sticking out the bottom, this um, thin airspace should cut that off quite ni nicely. Um, so let's see if I got that right. So again, to do that, select, select it all, press group, and wait for a minute. Okay, and there we go. 
looks like it worked pretty well. It's always good, it's always worthwhile having a kind of bit of a look around just to check that you didn't leave some lettering sticking out underneath. If you do, if you've got bits hanging out underneath your model underneath here, it's not going to print properly when it's put onto a 3D printer. So that was just my example for doing some lettering. That's my five minute timer and that's my example uh, for my lettering. Okay, so that's the end of lesson two. Have a quick go for yourself.